Since we lost access to Evernote Home on the mobile client, and yes, I know we can still go to Evernote Home, but uh, what I'm trying to say is open Evernote and see Evernote Home. We lost that. Since we lost that, uh, I've been trying to make the desktop client and the mobile client kind of deliver the same type of information because uh, the desktop, when I'm using the desktop, uh, I always start at home. And when I'm using the mobile client, I always start uh, the shortcuts page. So this is these are two different places, two different experiences, and I'm trying to make Evernote show me what I want, the same information in both. And I had to make another change here because there was this situation where I could do something on the computer and was not good enough when I'm when I was doing it on the phone. Okay, let's take a look at it. As I already know, the notebooks I keep in the shortcuts are the ones related to uh, work I'm doing, work in progress. So we have here Creator, we have here Patreon, collaborations. And I, I recently moved Patreon to, to the shortcuts because I, I was using it a lot. The other notebooks I type, I just type common J and go, for example, the Euro Camper I talked about uh, in the last video. You can do the same on Windows using Control Q. So I can switch to a different uh, notebook from here. It's easy. Just click here and go to the, to the notebook. However, there is no way to do it here. Let me show you what I mean. Oh, but before that, I have a gift for some of you. If you use my affiliate link below, you'll get a 15% discount when upgrading from a free account to a one-year personal account. So if you were looking for a good deal, probably this is the moment you are waiting for. There are some terms and conditions. Please check the description below for more information. Okay, if I'm here, let's say I'm at the shortcuts page here, and I want to go to that camper van uh, notebook. Let me show you the steps. First, I have to tap notes because I don't have the notebooks here. Shortcuts are here at the nav bar, and then notebooks and then look for, or type here the name or, or scroll down and, whoops, just made a mistake. Let's go back and here and go to that. It's not really a lot of steps, but when you just want to take a note, and this happened the other day, I, I, I wanted to, I, I saw a, a camper that I, I, I found interesting. I just wanted to write down the name and I had to go through all these steps to get there. And if you if you just want quick access, it's not it's not good. So let's go back to the computer and I'll show you what I came up with. Okay, let's go to notebooks, click here the three dots, add to a stack, but this is gonna be a new stack. I'm calling this stack information in progress. Create. Uh, I'll add the Apple II here, then my book here. What else can I add? Knowledge base here. Are you getting it? It's not only projects, it's things that I use frequently, but not necessarily projects. Okay, I guess that's it. And now I can move this, let's say to this spot here. And when I need this, all I have to do is expand it or collapse it when I'm not using it. Hold on, don't type that question just yet. <laughs> You're probably about to ask me, why not just add the notebooks to the shortcuts area? That will be an option, but uh, what I want to have in the shortcuts area are the notebooks I use a lot. Uh, the other ones uh, that I use more or less I, uh, I was happy with the common J on, on my Mac or the control Q if you are a Windows user because that was just one one step. Just type the name of the, start typing the name of the notebook and go to that notebook. That, that was okay with me. But I don't have that option on my phone and the problem I was having was the phone 
I needed a way to uh, to have access, uh, a quicker access to those notebooks without polluting my shortcuts space. So the, the stack is this middle ground. I can have this all these uh, notebooks inside the stack and keep the stack collapsed inside the, the shortcuts area. And when I need it on my phone, I just tap open and go to the to the notebook. And since I, I'm creating it, why not add the other notebooks? And uh, I needed a name, and the other day I was thinking about this situation, and I came up with this name because these are really ideas that I'm having. They are not always projects. They are ideas that are in progress. <laughs> so that's the name of the stack, Ideas in Progress. And talking about my system, if you are a supporter on Patreon or YouTube, there is a B-side video for you. You'll find the links in the description below where I discuss some of the core principles of my system. And I also show the progress of my book, which I'm not calling a book anymore at least for now. <laughs> if this one was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here in the channel, please consider subscribing. It helps a lot. Thanks for watching. See you soon.